Alderaan shows destruction. They incited rebellion and anarchy. And paid the price. The survivors continue to spread dissent. Find them. Do not rest until the destruction of Alderaan is complete. orders are clear. Are they? Yes. Wipe out all that remains of Alderaan. How? I understood the survivors were in hiding. Intelligence reports a possible Alderanian convoy heading to Fostar Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. Do you understand that, Captain? Perfectly, Commodore Sloan. Dismissed. on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma-9 loadout. No. Only standard ties today. Flying old school, sir. This might be a real challenge after all. You hear me, Teresa? But I don't think you understand me. I guess we'll find out. Follow my lead. And don't fire unless I give the order. The convoy is out there. We don't want to scare them off. Let's do this right. Rebel death, Imperial victory. Understood. All systems up and running. Pre-flight complete. Let's get a clean launch. Lock onto my fighter. Forward sensor. Online and tracking. Now, throttle up and deploy out of the hangar. Ah, the rest of the fleet is back from Malastair. We'll have plenty of help to deal with that convoy of sympathizers. Helix Squadron, we're prepping your Gazanti transport. Stand by. Copy vigilance. All pilots, follow me. We'll do a quick pass of the fleet to calibrate flight controls. No problem. Stay mobile. We don't want any collisions. From 
inside, you forget how big our star destroyers really are. Careful. The shields won't harm us. Flying so close to the hull is no time to get careless. You're right, sir. It is good to fly old school again. There's something very forthright about a TIE fighter. Systems calibrated, and the fleet is in good shape. The vigilance reports our Gazanti transport is ready. Helix Squadron, head to the Gazanti and dock for hyperspace jump. Not a problem. Throttle down below the Gazanti so its locks can engage. Activated. 
Helix Squadron, destroy those turrets. We can't search under fire. Out here, no one shoots unless they're prepared for return fire. Even the Empire should know that. Lasers need to be charged.
Can anyone make out what he's saying? They're working on it. Okay, Echo Squadron on me. This is Admiral Lackbar to Echo Squadron. Echo Leader here. Admiral, any luck pinpointing that distress call? Hopefully. You may need to get creative. Make sure your fighters are in good shape. Understood, sir. Echo, prepare for systems check. Coming back around, squadron. On me. So much for a quiet patrol. Starting systems check. Thumbs up. If we're up against a Star Destroyer, we'll need maneuverability. Fast and nimble. Got it. Systems check complete. In formation. Echo 3, matching formation. Echo 2, standing by. Echo 5, standing by. Look at us, flying together. Okay, squadron. Anyone low on missiles needs to stock up now. Head to the U-Wing for resupply.
Quasar bearing down on the convoy. And filled with reinforcements. Take the ties down. Whatever happened? 
Stevens next. You saved a lot of innocent lives. And mine. Convoy's ready to jump. Thank you. We'll tell everyone what the Rebel Alliance did for us. All ships, prepare for light speed. We all choose our path, light or dark, freedom or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting, to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, the Empire lives on shattered though it may be. As I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia sector, hoping to end our new Republic before we find our footing. As their empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the new Republic. Change our galaxy for the better. Squadron to Temperance. Do you read us now? Had some trouble with our long-range comms. You're the third patrol reporting comm blackouts. Head on back, Gunny. The commander will want a full report. Lousy comms. Chasing our tails for hours, and now we're late to meet the new boss. Well, do you want to race home, Frisk? We might make it before his speech ends. <laughs> Keo, I ain't racing you. I learned my lesson the first 12 times. <laughs> Ash, the speech is starting. I'm not one for speeches. So I'll just say, I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Vanguard Squadron's reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled, which is why, effective immediately, we have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk? Then those rumors about a secret project are true. What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? The key to victory. If it helps end the war, who cares? I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys, Frisk, remember? The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you? <laughs> ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <sighs> Come on. Back to the temperance. We can meet the new boss. And anyone else he's bringing along. Ah, there you are. Ardo said to expect you. I'm Zarelda Sage, chief mechanic. And this here's the temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. Hey, Gani, I got your new pilot over here. You go ahead, I'll meet you in there. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. I'm Kyra Kuva. You can call me Gunny. Happy to have you on the team. Let's talk after the brief again. You're joining one of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope you can live up to it. Anyway, follow them into the briefing room. I think our new commander's waiting for you in there. Reminder to all personnel, hangar entrance. Ah, you've arrived. Excellent. Otto, meet our new Vanguard 5. Oh, the one who saved your skin at Foster Haven. Ardo Baradai, Fleet Intelligence, a pleasure. I heard they rewarded you with a posting to Chandrilla. A real honor. Very safe. But a good pilot shouldn't just gather dust. I needed people I can trust. 
And I figured you'd want to get back into the action. <laughs> There's no shortage of that around here. Right. Let's get you briefed. Welcome back to the front line, Vanguard 5. As you've no doubt experienced, the Empire is jamming communications across the sector. I fear these blackouts could be a prelude to invasion. Vanguard Squadron, I need you to split up to solve this. Frisk and Grace, bring our new pilot to the Brental system's borders. The scouts we sent to investigate haven't reported in. Find out what happened to them, then regroup with your squadron near the planet Cavus. Gunny and Keo, that's where you're headed. If I were still an Imperial, well, I'd send jamming ships there. Knowing the Empire, I expect they're using these jamming vessels to disrupt our long-range comms. They'll have TIE squadrons in tow. Destroy all Imperial squadrons and jammers. Communications must be restored for Project Starhawk's future. When you've succeeded, regroup and return to the Temperance. Let's see how you do, Vanguard Squadron. Got a moment. I'm Keo Venzi. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. You'll do great things with us. Trust me. This is an amazing team. I went from semi-pro racing to fighting the Empire. Quite a change. But everyone in Vanguard lifts up the others. You'll fit right in. Whatever this Project Starhawk is, I suppose the commanders will tell us when they're ready. But for now, we have scouts to find. According to the battle plan, we aren't flying together on this mission. But you'll be on my wing sooner than later. See you out there. Hello. Grace Salia Vitara Sina. Grace, if you like. It's a pleasure. I've been with Vanguard long enough for Gunny to trust me with second position. And she doesn't trust easily. Especially those from Imperial families. Well, everyone finds out sooner or later. Yes, unfortunately, my dear estranged family builds TIE fighters for the Empire. And I take great delight in blasting those fighters to Stardust. I trust you will too. See you out there. Finally, chance to get acquainted. Like I said, the name's Gunny. Stay sharp, keep your nose clean, and we'll be off to a good start. We had calm blackouts like this right before the Empire invaded Mimban. Lost a lot of friends. But I learned to shoot a blaster. You'll be flying with Frisk and Grace today. Meet them if you haven't. The best advice I can give you is this. Stick with your squadron. It's simple, but sometimes hot shots and lone wolves need to hear it. Get to your ship. <sighs> nice to meet ya. Squad calls me Frisk. Only Grace calls me by my real name, and only when she's mad. <laughs> I know it's not often you find a handsome fella like me fighting for the Rebellion, or New Republic, or whatever we are now. I used to be in what you might call acquisitions, you know, hunting down trophies, antiques, anything collectors wanted. Until I got that pesky death mark, of course. How was I supposed to know that painting was fake? <laughs> Or that the Imperial Governor was gonna show it off to Admiral Thrawn. That's what's great about this place, though. They always got a berth for a good pilot. Deathmark or not. Say, you play Sabak? I'm trying to learn, but no one around here ever wants to play me. Maybe we could, uh, 
Go a few rounds, huh? For credits, of course. It's the only way I'm gonna learn, right? Guess we should get on and fix that calm blackout. You ready to go? Just hop in the cockpit. Systems. Check. All right. I'm loading in your astromech droid now. Keep an eye on it. Quiet, Tin Can. We got a pre flight check to do. Radar. Working like a dream. Loadout data. Looking good. Combat display? Check. Primary weapons, charged up. Ready to take down ties. Throttle and boost? Good to go. Hull integrity? Never better. You're welcome. All systems go. Vanguard 5, you are clear for launch. Good luck out there. Squadron. This never gets old, hey eh, Grace? Never. Let's go. Those scouts showing on sensors. You got anything, Grace? Negative. We've got to be able to find someone out here. Wait. I've got a Republic signal. Temperance, we may have found them. <laughs> Heavy interference. Gunny and Kia will take care of that shortly. We should investigate the signal and regroup with them. Follow 
me. I don't like this, Grace. I hear you. Something's not right. If we're lucky, something survived the attack. Stay ready for anything. Wait, that's not a New Republic signal. It's Imperial. jamming ships. If we scan the wreckage for its last known trajectory, it could lead us to the jammers. That's a heck of an idea. Vanguard 5, scan the debris and we'll watch your back. That's it. Nice work, Vanguard 5. Let's see. Their path was leading them... toward Gunny and Keo's coordinates. If we're quick, maybe we can cut off the Empire before they find our friends. Marking coordinates. Hopefully they don't know we're coming. Let's do this right, for the scouts we lost. Lead the way, Vanguard 5. Whatever comes next, we face it together. of the jammers. Taking down these ships ain't gonna be easy. Not while the cruiser has a missile launcher. We'll keep our countermeasures ready. What's our play? 
If we take out the jammers first, we can call the temperance for reinforcements. That's why you're in charge, Cuddy. Vanguard 5, focus on the jammers. All right, then. Here we go. Enemies toast. I feel better already. So where is it now? I helped Talus Group chase it away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere with no hyperdrive, but too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. This might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Wedge Antilles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk. Intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would. As you may have overheard, Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum, above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. You'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge and is in control of the Star Destroyer, we will rendezvous with the Temperance. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. Sorry for the speedy introduction, but Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this, but General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling, well, 
That's classified too. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too, but Skystrike Academy. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. Look, I appreciate the talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. The Star Destroyer? Aren't you tossing him in the deep end a little early, Linden? Vanguard can handle it, can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well, you know. Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, he'd be smart to listen. You know... A wounded Krakana can still bite. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. Pilots on deck. Mechanics secure all lines. So, we're headed to Yavin. An exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of durasteel plating, turrets, shields. Mm. My poor, bigoted father called Star Destroyers the Fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong, but they can be beaten. If you're good and lucky, let's stay optimistic. To Yavin, then. Let's not delay. I wanted to see the Victorian go up and 
flames. But stealing it? <laughs> I like that even better. Star Destroyer targeting's out for good. I'm in formation. The wings can get in safely. This is our chance to capture that Star Destroyer. If we take the bridge, we'll have access to its internal systems. Stand for a breach point, so we can send an aborting team. You're up, Five. Breaching a Star Destroyer, just like the old days. Look out, Vanguard! We got a gunny story incoming! Five hasn't heard it. Sure. Let's keep looking. Imperial fighters incoming. Frisk. I'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. <sighs> you hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen. All I can tell you is the basics. Lender, our soldiers on the Star Destroyer Victorum just sent to Code Yellow. Now? Damn. Call in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. We have an emergency. 
The Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of a hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-Wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. Now, I know Imperial protocol better than most. I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. I'll send you rendezvous coordinates when the time is right. This is my fault. I underestimated the repairs. Now the whole project's at risk. Hyperdrives break, Ardo. It's not your fault. They should have suggested you send more engineers to Yavin. Then this never would have happened. It's fine. Vanguard is ready. They'll get there in time. Won't you? I know, I know. But I'll reach out to Hosnian Prime and requisition a few more engineers. Just in case. Get moving, pilot. I remember the first time I was trapped behind enemy lines. It was the Battle of Mimbin, the first year of the Clone Wars. The Separatists had dropped a battalion of B-2 droids on the Nanth Flatlands, cutting us off from the 224th Pawn Division. A thunderstorm was jamming communications, so I took a Skyhopper to rendezvous with the 224, hoping to get some reinforcements. It didn't go well. I was halfway across the Flatlands when those droids shot me down. And believe me, you have never seen a final crash landing. The only problem was my arm got caught in some wreckage. Figured I'd rather live my life with one arm than sit around and wait for those droids to find me. Besides, you only need one hand to carry a blaster, right? I dragged myself out of those flatlands with only one arm and a seriously sour disposition. I guarantee those clone boys had never seen anything like me before, but they fixed me up. Then they helped us drive those blasted droids right off planet. If only I'd known that three years later, those clones would be replaced by stormtroopers. But anyway, we should head back to the hangar. The Victorum needs us. We were just talking about what happened to the Victorum, and Keo had one of those, uh, what do you call them? It's just a hunch, Frisk, that's all. So what do you think happened? I feel like it was the Imperials. They probably sabotaged the hyperdrive before our soldiers could get them off the ship. I know it sounds wild, but when Keo has a hunch, they're usually right. Don't listen to him, it's really not that big of a deal. On Miriel, we're taught to respect and listen to the Force. I can't reach out and touch it like, well, like others could, but sometimes I just have a feeling about things. I don't like to talk about it. These days, you never know who in the galaxy is listening. Now, let's get serious, huh? When are you gonna have a premonition about the Carillion Lottery? Really? People are waiting for us to save them, and you're thinking about credits. Look, you see any numbers, just tell me, okay? They gotta be good for something. <laughs> we really should get going. Right here and ready to go. Victorum, these bombers are coming in fast. 
You might want to activate turbo lasers. No can do. Their ion weapons knocked out our systems. We were defenseless until you arrived. Understood. We'll put an end to their bombing runs. Fives all over these bombers. Don't let them hit you with ion weapons. Yeah, you'll lose your controls, or worse. systems. Work fast. Imperial shuttles headed your way. Hold them off. If even one Imperial shuttle reaches us, we'll be overwhelmed. You heard them, Vanguard. Intercept those shuttles. We should split up to take them down. Fire on that target. On it. You handle the other shuttle.
Okay, we're ready to boost. Punch it. When you're ready, turn as hard as you can, then cut your engines to drift. I know you can do this, Five. Let's try again. You got this. Classified. Just send you the coordinates. Got him. Punching them in now. Jumping to hyperspace in three, two, one. Punch it. Uh, what? The hyperdrive failed again. No.
have the new jump coordinates, Vanguard? Affirmative. See you on the other side, Victor. More amps? No, no, no. It's now or never. Let's get the hell out of here. Who'd want to get this close to the Ringali Nebula? I believe that is the idea. General Sindula. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyards. I'd give you the tour, but the Empire knows we're up to something now. They'll be looking for us, which means we have work to do. finally surfaced. One of my spies has linked the attacks on our Star Destroyers with the New Republic Starhawk project. A common factor is Lyndon Javes. You knew Javes better than anyone, Captain Carroll. If I had, I'd have destroyed him before he betrayed us at Fostar Haven. Then this is your second chance. The Rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron. Hunt down this Starhawk and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. Greg, come in. Is it true we're getting a new pilot? Copy, soul. Captain Carroll's bringing someone in, John. The treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels and saved you all neck. Focus. Shen's right. Tighten it up, Sol. And Von Reg. Save a little for the enemy. Overseer to Titan, finish your inspection. Your new wingmate has arrived. So, you're our new wingmate. Welcome to Titan Squadron. I'm Varko Gray, Squadron Leader. I think they're waiting for you in the briefing room. Better make a good first impression. Welcome home, pilot. It feels like a lifetime since Fostar Haven, doesn't it? One fool betrays his squadron, and loyal officers like us are reassigned in disgrace. I heard they sent you to the Outer Rim. I got the Merim Sector, protecting fuel shipments from petty scoundrels and pirates. The kind of posting that used to end careers before Endor, before Lyndon Javes reappeared. No doubt you've heard. Admiral Sloan has instructed me to hunt that traitor down and end this Project Starhawk. It seemed fitting that I bring you back to help me destroy Linden. Your Empire needs you, pilot. Are you willing? Good. For now, you will be flying as Titan III. Let's get to work.
One of our spies, Agent Thorne, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Your job is to secure the outpost for our extraction team who will arrive aboard the shuttle Gladius. Behind enemy lines, you must be precise and swift. We have no room for error, Titan. To gain access, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. Intelligence reports missile platforms defending Hosnian space. Destroy them. The outpost itself is protected by turbo laser cannons on all sides. Evade and eliminate them all. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost, and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorn. Once Thorn is secure, reach your Gozanti cruisers and return to the Overseer. Do not lose our spy under any circumstances. That is all. I'm Rella Sol. No need to introduce yourself. I've already reviewed your service record. It's been a long time since you were on the front lines. In days past, a mission like ours would have been afforded every possible resource. Unfortunately, times are tight since Endor. In one battle, we lost our Emperor and gained a hundred warring factions. <sighs> if only Emperor Palpatine hadn't dissolved the Imperial Senate. At least then, Senators, like my parents, could have maintained order after Endor. But no. Not that I question the Emperor's decision, of course. But now that he's gone, we must look to the future. And reinstating the Senate would help subdue all of this infighting. We can talk later, perhaps. Now more than ever, the Empire needs reliable soldiers like Agent Thorn, like you. Unity is the only path to progress. I trust you are aligned with Admiral Sloan's vision for the Empire. We cannot afford to fracture. Not after Endor. This mission is a vital step towards dismantling the Rebellion. And they are a Rebellion. Don't be fooled by their new name. The New Republic will fall, just like the last one. It's time for you to play your part. Get to the hangar. Ready your ship. Newcomer. Welcome to Titan. Call me Shen. Before you ask, helmet stays on, cockpit or not. Too many hard landings. Broken neck. Five, six times. Cybernetics keep me going. Fight. Fall. Get up. Fight again. All for the Empire. Advice. <clears throat> You're the new arrival. I'm Havina Vonreg. Titan can always use another pilot, so long as you're good at killing rebels. We're going right into their territory, Hosnian Prime. We'll give those scum just a taste of what it was like at Endor. I was there, you know, when the rebellion murdered our Emperor. Half my squad died trying to defend him. Captain Carroll understands. She doesn't lecture me about justifiable force like my other commanders. She knows all I need is a target. <laughs> Politics are for admirals. I keep it simple. Always shoot to kill. Mess with the squadron and you mess with me. But do your job and I'll have your back. Later. You'll be the new pilot. Sergeant Waite, 
chief mechanic and head of the hangar crew. Don't see the appeal in flying myself, but I've been working on ties since they rolled off the assembly line. Your fight is in good hands. The Overseer saw some action at Potho and JL, but it's had a complete inspection and overhaul for this mission, Admiral Sloan's orders. And on my orders, every tie in this hangar has been serviced and test flown. Tighten half the rivets myself. We're ready. Gotta say, I don't know how you and Titan cope out there. No shields or life support, just whole plating between you and space. It must build character. Never met a TIE pilot who backed down from any challenge, shields or not. I've prepared your starfighter to match the latest Imperial guidelines. But if you've got a preferred component or need something customized, I'll take care of it. Just say the word. Your TIE fighter's ready. Good flying. Keep it up. The enemy's closing on you. 
Joining up. Taking fire! Take it out. The outpost is defenseless. Titan, this is Shuttle Gladius, inbound for extraction. We read you, Gladius. Titan will rendezvous with these coordinates. You're welcome. Thin the herd if you have to. Good, Titan 3. Show no mercy. Closing in on your Titan squadron. We'll keep you safe, Gladius. Let's get you to the outpost's landing platform. Affirmative, squadron leader. We'll be gone before the Rebel fleet even knows we were here. Heads up, Squadron. Enemy A-wings are deploying from the station. Don't let them intercept our shuttle. They're attacking our shuttle. We did it. 
it. Squadron, reach the carrier and load up. Let's leave this wretched system. More rebel ships inbound. They're attacking our exit strategy! A flagship. Move it! Go, go, go! Nice work, Titan Three. You're officially part of the squadron now. Agent Thor may not have known the precise location of Project Starhawk, but the intel has pointed us in the right direction. Then we will proceed as planned. Oh, hello. Captain, is this the new pilot? Yes. A valuable addition to the squadron, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Marvelous work securing Agent Thorne. You've exceeded your previous statistics by... Oh, forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. I'm LT-514, Imperial Intelligence. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. Captain Carroll, shall we proceed with the briefing? Agent Thorne's intel has paid off. We've learned that a convoy of New Republic engineers is traveling from Hosnian Prime to Project Starhawk's secret base. Their chartered path leads them straight through the contested territory of De Severo. According to our new information, the convoy will attempt to conceal its presence in a local debris field. Follow the convoy through the wreckage and allow them to jump to hyperspace. We will calculate all possible destinations along their trajectory to find Project Starhawk. You must not be detected. We cannot risk losing this convoy. Local Imperial forces have been advised not to interfere. Once the convoy is clear of the debris, it will leave the system, pointing us toward their hidden headquarters. Once we have their jump vector, return to the Overseer and prepare for immediate redeployment. I've already contacted the Imperial authorities at De Severo. They're aware of the situation. You're certain he won't interfere? My records indicate that Captain Amos is trigger-happy, to say the least. His fleet is already in ruins after initiating several battles that were frankly quite unnecessary. Captain Amos is... enthusiastic. I'm hoping he's not a fool. The Empire can't afford to lose assets at this stage in the war. I agree wholeheartedly, Captain. After your impressive work at Hosnian Prime, this should be an effortless mission for you, pilot. Yes. My faith in you was not misplaced. Make sure it stays that way. That will be all. simple in and out mission should be painless for us, but stay on your toes. You never know what cheap tricks the rebels will pull. De Severo. Hmm. Long way from civilization. I haven't seen the Outer Rim since the insurrection at Krigo. Well, let's get to it then. Get to your tie. The Captain has a personal stake in Project Starhawk, a vendetta with Lyndon Japes. Take it from me, nothing motivates like betrayal. I've seen too many good pilots. Friends turn traitor. I put them out of their misery, but there's always more out there. Iden Versia, Erica Quell, Lyndon Javes. 
They're not just traitors. They're loose ends. Problems to solve once the war is done. We should go. over De Severo. And lost several destroyers by the look of it. At least his recklessness allows us to stay hidden. Stay together and keep your distance. The convoy can't know we're tracking them. Yes, sir. Titan 3's radar jammer will make it harder for the enemy to track you. Use it wisely. Slow down. Avoid detection. Overseer, we're in position. Hold, Titan. Patience. Remember what we learned at the Battle of Vashar? How could I forget? We strike... We cannot afford to be detected. Attention! The Star Destroyer Tormenta is emerging from hyperspace near the debris field. Oh, no. He can't be serious. Captain Amos, what is the meaning of this? You're letting our enemy escape, Captain Carroll. I will not show the same mercy. Fire the missiles. We can't lose this convoy. Titan, shoot down the Tormentor's missiles. Captain Amos, you are compromising a delicate mission. Delicate? This is war. Snuffing out this new republic is the only mission. Hurry, Titan 3. Destroy those missiles. That colossal idiot. Convoys alerted to our presence. No way we'll track their jump now. Captain Amos, this is foolish. The Tormentor is severely damaged. It's still capable of destroying a few rebel ships. Just look at the wreckage around you. I see TIE fighters out there. Shattered. Broken. Yours, I assume. Every victory has its price. Take it out. Just praise me. Keep it up, Titan 3. We need this. Stay focused. Stop that scattered convoy. Under enemy fire! Titan, the Tormentor is firing another missile volley. We'll take them down. I thought you'd let that one run and give them a scare. I want that gone. Good shot.
I gave you an order, Titan III. Regroup with the shuffles. Vulnerable fighters inbound. You're welcome. I had it under control. And with that, the starfighters are gone. For now. Overseer, ready to receive shuffle team. Titan III, keep them safe. Titan, the Rebels have scrambled another fighter squadron. They're truly desperate now. We'll finish off their fighters. Titan III, defend the shuttles. That one's mine. Threat eliminated. Fine now. Thanks. Information and ready. Tactical shields got you covered. Good work. I'm reviewing the nav data now. Captain, the Tormentor is taking heavy fire. Its destruction is imminent. That fool. Titan, return to the Tormentor and cover its retreat. Yes, ma'am. Call off your squadron. I don't need their help. Then you're prepared to retreat? Never. You will not survive this assault, Captain Amos. Watch me. Captain Carroll, that frigate is coming apart. The Tormentor is too close. Amos, evasive maneuvers, now. What are you talking about? The frigate is about to explode. But, but I won. Linden. My contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Hosni and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Lyndon, what have you done? Relax, Ardo. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore.
an old protege of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselus and bomb it to oblivion. A Corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Fostar Haven. She was my protege. She's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. Just trust me a little longer. Head to the hangar. Zarelda should have your ship almost ready. So, uh, with the Empire eavesdropping on New Republic comms, do you think Teresa Carroll overheard everything? She only cares about finding our Starhawk, Frisk. Oh, sure, sure. Still, better bomb this listening post into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no other reason. Temperance, this is Vanguard Squadron. We're closing in on the listening post now. Excellent. Upon arrival, you should be able to overhear some Imperial chatter. You can thank Ardo and his spy network later. Let's form up with our Corvette. It'll run interference during the strike. Slow down, Hotshot. Don't set off their defenses early. This listening post in the middle of nowhere. How'd the boss find this place again? He sent a message, specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Unless the message he sent seemed so enticing, the Empire had no choice but to intercept. What could be that enticing? That's the thing. Jays won't tell us. But it's a seed that will sprout into a trap. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. listening post just to help them find the Starhawk? This one, perhaps, but it isn't the last listening post eavesdropping on the galaxy. Well, they do seem hell-bent on finding us. I bet the Empire cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. I'll jam Imperial sensors on approach. I love it. They'll never see us coming. Let's make them regret eavesdropping on the New Republic, huh? Just like that, we're hidden from Imperial sensors. Follow me, Five. We'll lead the bombing run. Grace and I will take care of station defenses and starfighter patrols. Here we go, Five. Give them everything you got. Good, you're almost there. On my mark, it's bombs away. Uh-oh, quick, take down those dishes. 
before they can make that distress call. Squadron, target the dishes on top of the station. Empire can't call reinforcements without them. set. Come on home. It's time for the next step.
first. Congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. But the Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. Teresa Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. And we've been assigned to stop her. So, using that decoy message I sent, we're going to set up an ambush. The false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. With this bait, we'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area of space. Here is where we set our trap. Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard, I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. We need to make this look good. Your destination is this bottleneck. There, the Starhawk will be waiting to disable the Overseer, and hopefully, capture Teresa. Now, it might sound simple, but nothing is simple in the Xavian Abyss. Brace yourselves. If Lyndon's right, this plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. Sooner the better, if you ask me. Lyndon's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. <sighs> I can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The commander's a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I wonder if we can push hers, too. We'll give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow, play this out, and see just how far we can lead her. It's all about playing the long game. When the Empire occupied Moncala, I learned how to string Imperials along. If you seem harmless, people underestimate you. I spent a lot of time around Imperials, playing the dumb alien bartender, a sweeper, someone safe. Next day, the Rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. It wasn't easy, but I learned to stay patient and wait for opportunities. Remember, the Xavian Abyss is no place for the faint-hearted, and Teresa knows a few tricks of her own. Keep your eyes and ears open, all right? The Starhawk's crew. More than ready. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a good plan, Lyndon. Just be careful. I know you have a past with the Overseer's captain. Don't let it cloud your judgment. One moment, General. Sorry. I can't talk right now. Your squadron is waiting. Thanks, Gunny. 
The convoy's droid autopilot ain't smart enough to steer through these asteroids. Then let's blast them a path. Look lively, Vanguard. Imperial ships are on radar. Scouts. Perfect. The boss's plan is working. Give him a show. Make sure they buy it. Captain 
Carol to Vanguard Squadron. This is a futile gesture. You have nowhere to go, and I have no interest in prisoners. <laughs> works it tossed the overseer around like a loath rat good lousy imperials deserve payback with interest shall we just build a death star and get it over with oh, come on grace we're still the good guys anyhow we won right wherever they jumped no ships coming back from that let's hope so Also Rem, Rem is existing. Grid L42. Scramble fire crews. Get a distress call to the nearest Imperial station. Aha! It, there's an old munitions depot in this system, Captain. Run by a Colonel Grom. Must be our lucky day. Make the call. This isn't over, thank God. So, you jump to my territory, uninvited, then demand my supplies? Colonel Graal, the Starhawk project is within our grasp. All I need is repairs and proper munitions. No. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. The Overseer was sent on this mission by Admiral Sloan herself. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Grom out. <laughs> he wants us to fight rebels. All right. 
We'll protect his depot. And if his munitions get lost in the crossfire, well, lucky for us. Ma'am, regulations specifically forbid this. I will not be beaten by vanguard, grandstanding imbeciles, or anyone else. Please, not judgment. It's just fine. Call in Titan Squadron. Now. Could we talk? Local rebel forces are preparing to attack Colonel Graum's munitions depot. You'll patrol the area in preparation for the attack and keep the depot safe. Graum is a fool, but his assets belong to the Empire. Therefore, they belong to us. During your patrol, Titan III will secretly search the station, its freighters, and cargo shuttles for Baradium. This explosive material will be a valuable tool against the Starhawk. Tag the Baradium, and LT-514 will retrieve it remotely. While Graum is kept busy by the rebel attack, escort the Baradium to the Overseer for safekeeping. According to the Colonel, these three towers hold large munition stockpiles and will be the rebels' priority targets. It's a powder keg. If we lose the towers, we lose the depot, and the Overseer will be defenseless. Remember, as long as repairs are still underway, we can't afford to engage the Republic. Secure the Baradium, halt the Rebel Assault, and then we can leave the Remetic system. You're on your own, Titan Squadron. Let's do this right. I owe you and the rest of Titan Squadron an apology. When the Overseer was attacked, I realized that Everything I know about war is what I've read. I'm beginning to understand how it must feel in that cockpit under fire. Terrifying. Yet you and the others risk it every day. I took this assignment to learn. Clearly, I still have a long way to go. I know Colonel Graum is in the wrong, and yet seizing his munitions feels drastic. But Captain Carroll is entirely correct that Admiral Sloan's orders supersede Grom's, and we are committed. To work. There's much to do. Why is it that small-minded officers are always the quickest to flaunt what little power they have? Graum can lord over this pathetic corner of the galaxy all he likes, but I will not allow him to jeopardize our mission. This depot has everything we need to annihilate the Starhawk. Graum may be an obstacle, but he's not our enemy. We will do our duty to protect Imperial assets. Go. Prepare your ship. Titan is outbound. Colonel Graum, I've ordered Titan Squadron to patrol the area in preparation of the enemy attack. Good. My munitions depot is as valuable as it is volatile. I expect you to defend it with your lives. Titan Squadron, split up and patrol the depot. Find the Baradium before any rebels arrive. Copy, Grade. Titan 3, follow me. Control towers are operational. Don't let the rebels destroy all three. Nobody survives that chain reaction. Sounds like you speak from experience, Shen. Which I know you do. Wonder how 
many of our outposts survived. Could be more resources out there. Research weapons. <laughs> during the enemy raid. It's time. Escort the cargo shuttles to the Overseer. Grom won't notice a thing while he's under siege. Focus on the Beradium. We'll take care of one shuttle group. Titan 3 and I will handle the other. Get 
Take it out. Cargo shuttles are en route, but vulnerable. Move to assist. Yes, bring them down. I want that gone. Get out. Get out. nearly at hand we have the location of the nadiri dockyards and the overseer is almost back to full strength our only obstacle now is vanguard squadron i won't let them catch us off guard not again admiral sloan has a plan to draw vanguard squadron and other defenders away from the nadiri dockyards the admiral has ordered titan squadron to play a part 
and she wants you to take the lead. For this mission, at least. I trust Admiral Sloan's decision. You've proven yourself capable many times over. Just don't let it go to your head. It would be a pity if you turned out like Colonel Graham. Our Baradium munitions give us the firepower to take on the Starhawk, but the situation isn't that simple. The Nadiri dockyards are protected by a massive rebel fleet. We cannot engage the Starhawk until it is vulnerable. Admiral Sloan's strategy is simple. Lure the Republic fleet away from Nadiri with simultaneous attacks on enemy targets across the galaxy. We've been assigned to attack Moncala. We don't have the numbers for a pitched battle, so you will have to strike fast. Your mission is to sow chaos through multiple attacks, moving quickly. These refueling pods are your first target. Next, attack civilian transports and any medical frigates supporting them. This will certainly draw out Anvil Squadron who are defending Moncala. Stay ahead of them if you can. Titan Three, you're ready for more responsibility. You will lead the assault. Make this fast and brutal. They've earned it. And while Titan attacks Moncala, two battle groups will launch strikes at Onderon and Gorse, disrupting Republic supply lines. Ah, at ease, pilot. Reports of your achievements have crossed my desk with unusual frequency. Those accolades have been well earned, Admiral. If Titan Squadron's a weapon, our newest pilot is its cutting edge. Just as I'd hoped. Then consider Moncala a test, pilot. Great talent requires greater challenges. Agreed, Admiral Sloan. And I look forward to filing my next commendation report. I'm going to overlook your unapproved acquisition of Colonel Grom's beradium supply. Although I hope you both learned something from that encounter. Colonel Grom is efficient. After all, he did successfully defend his depot without using any of his own resources. But an Imperial officer must also show finesse if they are to command effectively. We understand, Admiral. Completely. That will be all. Perfect. 
mission to take point three. Got a score to settle. No problem. Enemy stop by his approach. Imperial invaders, this is Anvil Squadron. Leave Moncala immediately or face the consequences. Anvil. Remember me. Should have finished the job. The New Republic needs that fuel. We're cutting our fuel supply. Well, well, good shot. I'd say you owe me one. Appreciate it. Damage. 
Diversion was a success. The Vanguard Squadron has left the Nadiri dockyards to aid Moncala, leaving the Starhawk completely exposed. We now have a clear shot to finish our mission. Admiral Sloan has sent reinforcements to help secure our victory. But you, Titan Squadron, will lead the strike against the Starhawk. If New Republic patrols and perimeter defenses intercept you on approach, show them no mercy. Before we begin our Beradium assault, you must bring down the dockyard's shields. We've discovered shield generators at these locations. Destroy them all, and the Overseer's bombardment will begin. After the shield generators are down, Titan III will return to the Overseer to acquire Beradium-enhanced munitions. This is where we show our true strength. Immobilize the Starhawk with Beradium. Do not stop until its hyperdrive is destroyed. I want that ship helpless when I deliver the killing blow. Let's make Admiral Sloan proud. So, on to Nadire. Captain Carroll's tenacity and your hard work have made this possible. Of course, mere numbers aren't enough to win a battle but I'll give you the best moment-to-moment -moment analysis that I can. The Beradium will be at your disposal for the crucial moment I've seen to it. The rest is in your hands. Unfortunately, we cannot issue you Beradium munitions from the get-go. With the enemy shields up, there's a high probability that missiles will be lost in the crossfire. Or a pilot. Either would be quite devastating. Gray asked me about the Starhawk's tractor beam, but don't worry. That won't be a factor in this battle. 
With the Starhawk docked, its tractor beam would endanger the dockyards and everyone stationed there. The Rebels' squeamishness gives us the advantage. Good luck. Not a factor I can predict, sadly. Before us is a historic victory, if we have the metal to seize it. The Baradium, the Overseer, even our TIE fighters are only tools. What decides a battle is our will to conquer. That's what the Rebels have never understood. If we hold to that principle, we can crush the Starhawk and win the day. We've successfully drawn off the Rebel forces protecting the Nadiri dockyards. Only a token defense remains, and the Starhawk. No doubt the Rebels believe the Starhawk is all the protection they need. They have no idea what Alberadium is about to do to their defender. Get ready. It's time. forces you are trespassing in New Republic space. Leave immediately. This is Captain Carroll of the Overseer. Your Starhawk dies today, as will you. Titan Squadron, attack. With pleasure. All turrets open fire on those ships. Your meager defenses cannot stop us. Titan, eliminate all turrets. Let's give the Overseer a clear path to the Starhawk. Get out. Get out! 
want that gone. You won't turn your back on. I'm here now, Teresa. If there's anything you want to say, say it. All stations, fire on that ship! The Nadiri dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? But this is no time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. But... In order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrala. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan, fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. 
Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, the Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. <laughs> I trust you see the wisdom in our strategy. Come now. Even damaged, the rebel fleet still presents a legitimate threat. We can't simply attack it in the open. Too exposed. Exactly. Sabotage is the answer. We pick the fleet apart, thin their numbers, and lead the Starhawk right where we want it. Defenseless. Precisely. If all goes to plan, you and the rest of Titan Squadron will have a clear run at the Starhawk, Lyndon James, and Vanguard. Ah, oh, yes. Vanguard's squadron continues to be a vexing anomaly in my calculations. A problem you two are happily well positioned to correct. Good luck. I'll be monitoring you from here. ahead of the enemy fleet. Excellent. Dismantle their fleet in the debris field. They'll die here or divert the Starhawk into the Ringali Nebula. Squadron, on me. We're approaching the junkyard now. This isn't just a junkyard, Varko. It's an Imperial graveyard. How many different destroyers do you think they left out here? And what did the Republic do to their crews? Doesn't matter. We can't change what happened. All we can do now is deliver vengeance. Before we're done today, this will be a rebel graveyard too. Overseer, we've reached the target destination. The enemy is advancing as expected. You have time to prepare our trap. Copy that. Let's find those reactor cores. Remember, only active cores are explosive. And the rest are useless duds. Understood. That core isn't active, so it's useless to us. Destroy it and move on. How exactly are we rigging these cores to explode? We're not. The active cores are volatile. It only takes a few shots to detonate them. So the Rebels inadvertently created their own minefield. I love it. You found an active core, Titan Three. Inactive. Scan another core. The proximity sensors on active cores will alert us to enemies in range of our explosives. If you hear the alarm, a ship is inside the kill zone. That's when we attack the cores and detonate. It's inactive. Active core. Good find. That's it. Fire on the cores when the rebel ships are nearby. It's time, Squadron. Enemy Starfighters have entered your minefield. Affirmative, Overseer. Titan, engage and eliminate. Stray shots could cost us our cause. Precision above all else, pilots. Soul's right. Titan 3, let's cut down these fighters. Thanks. Taking damage. You see it? Take it out. Big done. That's the last of the fighters. Like moose to the slaughter. Corvettes inbound. Regroup and be ready to strike. Rebel Corvettes inbound. Titan 3, when their ships are in range, 
detonate the cores. Follow me. On your wing. Pay attention behind you. I'm with you. Precision above all else. Their fleet must not reach Chandrilla. That wasn't necessary. Get out. You're too close to the core. I had it under control. I want that gone. We can use that one. Fine now. Thanks. All that's wings destroyed. The cores are safe. Another convoy of corvettes have arrived, Titan. Titan, regroup and prepare for the ambush. We're ready. Corvettes incoming. Do we have enough cores to take them out? We'd better. Easy. Don't be nearby when that core blows. They're on me! That wasn't necessary. Rebel ship is ready to die. Be 
One's following me. Blast the core. Now. Another Corvette burns. Blasted rebels. One they've gone. Can you talk? Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is... We're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. And luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the Nebula. Chief Mechanic Zerelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats, but the more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. But the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the comsats safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. 
from there. All we can do is wait. And hope. When I left the Empire, I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. The Starhawk Project represents hope for an entire galaxy. It's bigger than any of us. I know you'd rather be defending the Starhawk, but I promise that reactivating the broadcast hub is the best thing you can do to ensure the project's survival. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. shield for you. Yes! Signals back at full strength. Ready when you are, Commander Javes. Attention. This is Commander Javes calling from the Ringali Nebula, requesting emergency assistance. Thanks, Zerelda. We couldn't have done it without you. You're damn right. I'm with you. 
Commander Javes. We're regrouping with Zerelda and heading back to you. Okay. The Temperance is headed to the far side of the moon. We'll meet you there. Commander, where's the Starhawk? He was more badly damaged than we thought. General Sindula has evacuated all personnel to the Temperance. We can't abandon it. We can lose our Starhawk prototype, but not the people who built it. You're gonna help them escape. How, boss? The Temperance's hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it, but don't worry. I'll buy you enough time. future of Project Starhawk, and maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Alone? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you. We've done it. With Vanguard Squadron backed into a corner, Lyndon Javes has made his last mistake. We have confirmation that Lyndon has joined the fray. That's not all. He's leading the same rebel squadron we decimated at Moncala. This is a calculated move. Lyndon wants me to do something reckless. He thinks he knows me. But he's wrong. We're not going to take the bait. Titan Squadron will focus on our real target. The Starhawk. Admiral Sloan is counting on us. I wish I could deal with Lyndon personally. But a commander's true weapon is a squadron, not a starfighter. Go. Complete your mission. And if you get Lyndon in your sights, strike him down once and for all. This is it, Titan Squadron. Our moment of victory is at hand. The Temperance has broken off from the Rebel fleet, but no matter. Our focus is the Starhawk. And thanks to the reinforcements from Admiral Sloan, we now have it surrounded. The Starhawk suffered catastrophic damage from our Baradium assault and has had no opportunity for repairs. If I'm correct, a careful strike to the ship's tractor beam core should turn it into a floating time bomb. Reaching the Starhawk will not be easy. The Rebels managed to call in reinforcements of their own. Anvil Squadron, to be precise. Lyndon Javes is handling Anvil Squadron's tactics personally. Anvil took heavy losses at Moncala, but they still have Starfighters and a grudge. Destroy them. They're also fielding a Nebulon B frigate. We have a raider on hand to assist you. Once you reach the Starhawk, you must breach its armor to attack the core. Scans indicate there's an undetonated Baradium missile lodged somewhere in the Starhawk's hull. Exploit that. With the hull breached, a single fighter can fly inside the Starhawk to attack its tractor beam core. We have no idea what to expect on the inside. Do what you must. 
to start a core overload, and then escape to the Overseer while there's still time. All our work and sacrifice has led to this, Titan. Do not let Lyndon Jave stop you now. And heroes have influence. A smart person could parlay that influence. Become Admiral Sloane's aide, perhaps. Once in the heart of Imperial power, you can guide it. From there, anything's possible. Even the foundations of a new Senate. Now all we have to do is win. Oh, don't worry. I'm not losing sight of what we must do. But this is about more than ending a war. A true future for the Empire, beyond Death Stars and Rebels, is within our grasp. That is what I'm fighting for. Whatever you're fighting for, remember it today. Captain. I would be remiss if I didn't point out that our odds of success are substantially lower than usual. Are you saying Titan Squadron is no match for a broken down rebel fleet? Oh, uh, no, not at all. Your record is very impressive. It's just that these rebels are desperate. That makes them especially dangerous. Hmm. A valid observation, LT-514. I expect you will keep it in mind. I took this pasting to see how squadron tactics really work in the field, and I discovered how little I really knew. But now I have enough material to submit an entire intelligence data bank on Titan Squadron, and yourself in particular. Watching you hunt rebels has been very educational, and rather fun. Thank you. It's been an honor to observe. You've made yourself indispensable. Titan Squadron would not have been the same without you. When I called you to serve, you answered without hesitation. I won't forget it. The battle is waiting. Do not disappoint me. Squadron. 
These Republic fools, trapped, outnumbered, and they refuse to accept it. They'll call us weak, even as the might of our empires. Your primary target is the enemy frigate. I'm here, let's go. Take it out. Fire. Reading is 
Titan 3. That burst will fire you out of the core like a blaster bolt. Center yourself with the entrance. You can ride the shockwave out. It might be tricky. Relax, stay nimble, and steer clear of the walls. Gravity burst incoming! Steer carefully. The gravity fluctuations might knock you off course. Titan 3, brace yourself. Titan 3 is clear. You did it. The Starhawk's core has become a time bomb. Nothing can stop it from overloading now. Star Destroyer down. More of our people saved, and we're just getting started. And with me. Yes, sir. It's time to end this. Don't you dare fight Jays without me! You'll have to go through us first. Titan 3, we're pinned down! It's in your hands now. Titan 3, I gave you a chance to cross our haven. I wish you'd taken it. Titan Squadron, with Admiral Sloan's unerring support, we have left Project Starhawk in ruins. Vanguard Squadron is doomed. Imperial ideals have prevailed. Loyalty, duty, discipline. And with our latest champion, we shall ascend to even greater heights. Titan III has been promoted to Flight Baron, with full honors. Well done. Your future with the Empire is bright. I take pride that the death of Lyndon Javes sends a message to all who would betray us. That wherever the enemies of the Empire may arise, Titan will be waiting, no matter the cost. This war is our crucible. We will emerge triumphant and bring this new republic to its knees. Ardo confirmed what you already knew, Keo. The commander is gone. Yeah. You know he did the right thing, though. The civilians needed us. The commander sent Vanguard where we were needed most. Of course. This is what he fought for. That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next, this is the end of the line. I just wanted to say, I know we haven't flown together very long, but if I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. I speak for everyone in Vanguard when I say, it's been a pleasure fighting beside you. I know we have a mission, but we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there and I have yours, no matter what. Okay, General Sindula is waiting for us in the briefing room, shall we?
I'm sorry that our first real meeting is under such tragic circumstances. We're all feeling Linden's loss. But we're cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials, but we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Linden saw you as a leader, an inspiration even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. Thanks to your work on the Comsats, Anvil Squadron heard our call. And with Linden Javes bought us time to repair our ships for escape. But now the Imperial Fleet has Anvil's ships pinned down. They can't get out. So we're going back into the fight. Because we need to buy everyone time to escape. No one left behind. Ardo thinks we have one chance. It's drastic, but here it is. The moon is highly unstable, and the Imperial ships are positioned around it. If we crash the Starhawk into the moon's core, the shockwave should destroy those Imperial ships and let us escape, if we're fast. How? The ship's tractor beam is firing uncontrollably as it overloads. If we can get a couple of corvettes into that beam, we can tow it up to speed. Vanguard Squadron, you're up first. We're counting on you to clear the path and take out the closest Star Destroyer. Corvettes will then enter the tractor beam, and if Ardo's plan works, get the Starhawk moving. It should have a straight shot. Defend our fleet, in case the Imperials get wise to what we're doing. When the Starhawk collides with that moon, the shockwave will hit every Imperial ship in range. And you, unless you outrun it. It's risky, but sacrificing this Starhawk will save our fleet, and the engineers who will build the next one, and the next. The future of the New Republic depends on it. Let's finish this. You should know, Linden always speaks... Spoke highly of you. He never forgot what you did for him at Fostar Haven. <sighs> I know war takes its toll. Even when the Imperials attacked Moncala, I had to keep my head. Linden was a friend. He knew exactly what he was doing when he challenged Teresa. Doesn't make it any easier. The Overseer has fallen back, but the other Imperial ships still have us pinned down. You and Vanguard are our last chance. I believe in you. But more importantly, I believe in Vanguard Squadron. Linden bought us time. I know you'll all make it count. Get to your ship. Every moment matters now. We were able to evacuate all personnel from the Starhawk. Engineers, technicians, mechanics. We took a big loss today. Those who died at Nadiri. Linden. It won't be in vain. So long as we survive, so does Project Starhawk. And with it, the future of the New Republic. Fortunately, the Imperials didn't seize control of Nadiri. They were too busy chasing us off. I've already sent Meteor and Hail Squadrons to secure the dockyards. Now all we have to do is make it out of here. To your fighter, there isn't much time. Sindula to Imperial forces. Withdraw or be destroyed. We're in the fire now. Yeah. Time to end this. For the boss. One hell of a place to fight. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. The 
those Imperials better enjoy the view while they can. Did anyone else hear that? Probably just a comm glitch. Focus on the Star Destroyer. Okay, they missed their chance. Eliminate that Star Destroyer so we can move the Starhawk into position. Uh, any advice, General? Hit the sun systems first to weaken it. Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that Star Destroyer, like we're Swat of Minoc. His shields are too strong. We've got to fly under them and hit them all dead on. Take out the Star Destroyer's shield generators. That'll give you a clear shot at its systems. Right. If we knock out its targeting all power systems, it'll give up on the ships a better chance. They're breaking through!
collision course with the moon. Nice. Smooth sailing from here. Wouldn't that be a change? Where are the Corvettes going? I ordered them back. That maneuver almost burned out their engines. It's up to you now, Vanguard. Count on us, General. All right. The Starhawk's picking up speed, but it's still vulnerable. Vanguard, defend the Starhawk at all costs. Leave it to us. Starhawk's almost ready to blow. How long we gotta fly escort? You see that archway between those two rocks? That's where it's headed. Once the Starhawk reaches that point, there's no turning back. Prepare yourselves. It's too bad we're using the Starhawk like this. It was built to stop Imperial fleets, and that's exactly what it's gonna do. Thanks to Jerissa. Though I doubt she'd like the irony. We're picking up an incoming Imperial cruiser. Stay alert. Oh, come on. Don't they know when to quit? I can handle it. Dead. Get 
act like that. What the commander said. This might take us through. This will be tight. We can do it. I'm burning up in here. No time to get careless. All these rocks look the same. There's light. Follow me. like the sun. If you only believe in it when you can see it, you'll never make it through the night. We know our new Republic faces great challenges. But thanks to Vanguard Squadron, peace is closer than ever. General Sindula sacrificed one Starhawk for the chance to build a fleet. From Nadiri, Commander Jades will guide our best and brightest, forging the strength to challenge an empire. The war goes on, but we face it with renewed courage, inspired by heroes who fly for freedom as we emerge from the darkness of imperial oppression into the light of a new era.